Hi everyone, this is Hossein from Ijo Academy. In this video, we wanted to talk about factoring as a method to solve quadratic equations. When you set a quadratic uh, expression equal to zero, you are looking for the intersection of the parabola with the horizontal axis. Those intersections are called roots of uh, the expression or the parabola. There are three possibilities in terms of uh, the number of roots that you can find. The first possibility is when the parabola has two intersections to distinct intersection with the horizontal axis. In that case, if you solve the quadratic equation, uh, you would get two distinct roots or two distinct answers. And uh, another possibility is when uh, the parabola has only one intersection with the horizontal axis. In that case, uh, if you solve the quadratic equation, you would get one answer and that answer usually called double root. And the third possibility is when there is no uh, real root and the parabola doesn't have any intersection with the horizontal axis. In that case, the roots are called imaginary roots and in the future videos we will talk about that. Now in terms of the methods that you can use to solve quadratic equation, there are usually three methods. Uh, one is factoring, the other one is completing the square and the last one is uh, quadratic formula. In this video, as I mentioned earlier, we wanted to talk about factoring uh, and how you can use it to solve quadratic equations. In factoring, the objective is to convert the quadratic equation into uh, a multiplication of two factors. And as you can see, each factor is a linear equation in terms of x. And because the right hand side is zero, each of these factors has to be zero. So you set each of these factors equal to zero and solve for x. And the solution is easy in this case because you are dealing with two linear equations to solve and uh, you already know how to solve linear equations. So in order to find these two factors, you need to find uh, four unknowns. Uh, as you can see, the first factor has two unknowns, m1 and n1. And the second factor has two other unknowns, m2 and n2 in this case. And you need to figure out what are these unknowns to be able to find these factors. As I mentioned earlier, uh, when you solve uh, this quadratic equation, the answers that you would get are basically the roots of uh, the equation or the intersection of the parabola with the x-axis. In a simpler case where a is equal to 1, if you convert the uh, quadratic equation to uh, multiplication of two factors, uh, in that case, as you can see, uh, there are two unknowns, n1 and n2, and uh, it is easier to solve because you need to find out what are these two unknowns to be able to find these factors. Uh, once you find n1 and n2, you set each factor factor equal to zero and you solve for x and the solution is easy because again uh, you are dealing with linear equations. For now let's just focus on the uh, simplified case where a is equal to one. We can use distributive property to apply the multiplication to the factored form. In that case we have x times x plus x times n2 plus n1 times x plus n1 times n2, which is equal to 0. And if we simplify this further, we would get x to the second, plus the second term and third term, we have a common x multiplier, so we can combine them and uh, write it as n1 plus n2 times x. And the third term is n1 plus n2, which is equal to 0. If we compare this last expression with the original uh, quadratic equation, uh, we find out that n1 plus n2 is equal to b, and n1 times n2 is equal to c. And we can use this uh, two last equation that we obtained here to uh, basically find n1 and n2. And from there, we can uh, get the factors and uh, solve the quadratic equation. 
let's take a look at few examples uh, to see how we can apply uh, the factoring method to solve quadratic equations. We are in Desmos. We wanted to graph the first quadratic equation to see what are the intersections and then go to our notes and use factoring method to solve the uh, quadratic equation. So the expression that we have is y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. So as you see here, uh, the parabola has two intersections with the horizontal axis. The first one is at x equal to 1 and the second one is at x equal to 5. Let's use factoring method to calculate these two roots. All right, the equation is x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0. Our goal is to transform uh, this uh, equation into a factored form. The factored form that we introduced uh, was uh, open parenthesis x plus n1, close parenthesis open parenthesis x plus n2 close parenthesis equals 0 and if you remember we use distributive property to do this multiplication and we obtained x squared plus open parenthesis n1 plus n2 close parenthesis times x plus n1 times n2 equals 0 and if we compare uh, this expression with the original uh, equation, uh, we see that n1 times n2 has to be positive 5 and n1 plus n2 has to be negative 6. Because n1 times n2 is a positive number, so uh, both n1 and n2 has to be either positive or both has to be negative. But because n1 plus n2 is negative, it is not possible to uh, both of them to be positive. Uh, so as a result, n1 and n2, uh, both of them are negative numbers. So the way you find n1 and n2 is to uh, try a different pair of numbers uh, and see which one has a multiplication of 5 and summation of negative 6. So if we try negative 1 and negative 5, negative 1 times negative 5 uh, is equal to 5 and negative 1 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 6. I think here we are lucky and we found the pair of numbers in our first try. So uh, let's assume n1 is uh, negative 1 and n2 is negative 5 and it doesn't matter if you switch the numbers and assume n1 is negative 5 and n2 is negative 1 and you still get to the same uh, solution now that we found n1 and n2 let's uh, replace n1 and n2 in the factored form if we do so we would get open parenthesis x minus 1 close parenthesis open parenthesis x minus 5 close parenthesis equals 0. So this is the factored form of the original uh, quadratic equation. Because the right hand side is equal to 0, each of these factors has to be 0. Let's set the first factor x minus 1 to 0. To solve it for x, we need to add 1 to both sides. So on the left hand side we have x and on the right hand side we have 1. This is one answer and for the second answer we need to set the second factor uh, to 0. x minus 5 is equal to 0. We add uh, 5 to both sides. So we have x on the left hand side is equal to 5. And this is the second answer of the equation. So x equal 1 and x equal 5 are the solution of this quadratic equation. And this is exactly the same as we saw in the graph. Our second example is y 
is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 28. So as you see, the roots of uh, this parabola, the intersection with the horizontal axis, uh, are at negative 4 and 7. Let's use factoring method to uh, solve this uh, equation and find the roots. I'm going to rewrite the factor form here. Uh, it was open parenthesis x plus n1, close parenthesis, open parenthesis x plus n2 equals zero and if you apply distributive property to do the multiplication you would get x squared plus open parenthesis n1 plus n2 close parenthesis times x plus n1 times n2 equals zero if we compare this expression with the original equation uh, we see that n1 times n2 has to be negative 28 and n1 plus n2 has to be negative 3. because n1 times n2 is negative uh, we can say that uh, one of them has to be negative and the other one has to be positive and because the addition of the two numbers is negative, we can say that the greater number is negative. So we need to look for a pair of numbers that their multiplication is negative 28 and their addition is negative 3. And we know that uh, these two numbers, they have opposite signs and the number with a greater absolute value has to be negative. So we need to try a different pairs of numbers and to be organized, I'm going to draw a table here. So in the first column we have n1, the second column is n2, the third column is n1 times n2, and the third column is n1 plus n2. Let's assume the absolute value of n1 is greater than n2, and uh, let's try negative 28 and positive 1. So the multiplication is negative 28, and if we add negative 28, to 1 we would get negative 27 this is not equal to negative 3 it has to be equal to negative 3 here so this is not an answer let's try another pair uh, negative 14 and positive 2 the multiplication is negative 28 and if we add negative 14 to 2 uh, the answer is negative 12 this is not equal to negative 3 so that's not an answer let's try another pair um, negative 7 and 4 so the multiplication is negative 28 and uh, the addition is negative 7 plus 4 the answer is negative 3. So this is the answer. We found the answer. We found n1 has to be negative 7 and n2 has to be 4. So let's uh, replace them in the factored form. If we do so, we would get open parenthesis x minus 7, close parenthesis, open parenthesis x plus 4, close parenthesis equals 0. So each of these two uh, factors on the left hand side has to be zero. Let's go ahead and set the first one equal to zero. X minus seven equals zero. And to solve it for X, I need to add seven to both sides. I would get X is equal to seven. This is the first root or first intersection. Now let's set the second factor x plus 4 to 0 to solve it for x I subtract 4 from both sides so if I do so I have x on the left hand side and the right hand side I have negative 4 so as you can see the answer of uh, this quadratic equation is 7 and negative 4 and this is exactly the same as we saw on the graph our last example is y is equal to 2 times x squared 
plus 12x plus 18. So this parabola has only one intersection with the horizontal axis at x equals negative 3. Now we're going to use factoring method to solve this quadratic equation and see if the answer uh, matches with uh, what we see here. So in the third example, the expression is 2x squared plus 12x plus 18 is equal to 0. As a reminder, I'm going to rewrite the uh, factored form here. x plus n1 times x plus n2 equals 0. I'm also going to rewrite the resulting quadratic equation. x squared plus open parenthesis n1 plus n2 close parenthesis x plus n1 times n2 equals 0. If we compare these two equations, we see that here the x squared multiplier is 1, but in our uh, example, the x squared multiplier is 2. Uh, however, if we look at the other terms, we see that uh, we can divide other terms by 2 and uh, further simplify this equation. So if we divide all these terms by 2, we would get a new expression like this. 2 open parenthesis x squared plus 12 divided by 2 is 6 times x plus 18 divided by 2 is 9. Close parenthesis equals 0. And because the right hand side is 0 on the left hand side, this expression inside the parenthesis has to be 0. So we need to solve it for x. Solve for x. We can conclude that x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Now, if we compare this new equation with the equation that we have above it, we see that the x squared multiplier is 1, which is the same as we have up there. And uh, n1 times n2 has to be positive 9. n1 plus n2 has to be positive 6. So I'm going to rewrite these conditions down here. n1 times n2 equals positive 9 and n1 plus n2 equals positive 6. Because the multiplication of n1 and n2 is positive, we can say both numbers has to be either positive or both has to be negative. And because uh, the addition is positive, it is not possible to both of them to be negative. So we exclude this case. And uh, as a result, both N1 and N2 has to be positive numbers. To be organized, I'm going to uh, draw a table uh, similar to the previous example. I'm going to try different uh, pairs of numbers. So in the first column we have n1, the second column is for n2, the third column is for n1 times n2, and the third column is for n1 plus n2. And so both numbers has to be positive, so let's try 1 and 9. So 1 times 9 is 9, and 1 plus 9 is 10, and 10 is not equal to 6. As a result, this is not an answer. So let's try another pair uh, that their uh, multiplication is 9. Let's try 3 and 3. So 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. So this is an acceptable answer. So the pair of number that we were looking for is 3 and 3. Let's replace them in the factored form. So we have open parenthesis x plus 3, close parenthesis open parenthesis x plus 3, close parenthesis equals 0. And because the two parentheses are the same, we can uh, summarize this as open parenthesis x plus 3 to the second equals 0. And because the right hand side is 0, the left hand side has to be 0. So if we set it to 0, x plus 
3 has to be 0 and if we subtract 3 from both sides we would have x equals negative 3 so as you can see the answer is matched with what we saw uh, on the graph and you notice that here we found only uh, one answer for x and this is a double root and the reason is that the parabola only touches the horizontal axis and as a result we have uh, only one root or one intersection so to recap in this video we focused on using factoring method to solve uh, quadratic equations and we used a simplified version of factoring to solve uh, quadratic equations where uh, the x squared multiplier a uh, is equal to 1 and we saw a couple of examples in the next video uh, we continue uh, using factoring method to solve quadratic equations but uh, we focus on the general form of quadratic equation where the x squared multiplier or a is not necessarily one we focus on the general case if you have any questions regarding the use of factoring method to solve quadratic equation leave a comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can